So now that we have all of the devices placed in Packet Tracer and we have the correct connections between the devices, it's time to configure the devices and hopefully get all our interfaces up. So um, I'm going to go to PC1 here and I'm going to configure PC1 and I'm going to click on desktop and uh, let's see here IP configuration and static IP address and I'm going to give him 192.168.1. and he's going to be the second host in the 32 network so he'll be 34 subnet mask will be 255.255.255.224 the gateway will be the first host in that network So it's 33 is the first host, right? And that's it. So if I was to click on this again, you'd see there it is. It's taken. Okay, so PC1 has been configured. All right. Gateway here you can see is 33. All right. And then um, I don't need to configure the switch. The switch is just going to act as a relay. It's not going to have any VLANs. It's not going to have an IP address. So the switch is just going to connect us from our computer to our router. So now it's time to uh, click on the router. And on the router, I'm going to click on configure. And let's see here. First thing I want to do is configure the Fast Ethernet Zero interface. So with the IP address, I click on Fast Ethernet Zero, the first um, place, uh, first interface. And I'm going to give them 192.168.1.2. 33 subnet mask has to be 224 and when you're doing this if you're using this little tool this little like uh, GUI tool for doing configuring it'll show you here the equivalent commands in iOS in the um, in the Cisco uh, firmware uh, that you would be using the Cisco operating system and um, so that's kind of helpful that's kind of nice all right and then I'm going to turn after I put in the uh, IP address and the subnet mask I'm going to turn the the interface on here so and then you can see the Cisco iOS commands that would have done if you were doing doing this all by the command line all right and then on the serial interface the first serial interface I'm going to put in an IP address and I'm gonna refer back to my uh, picture here to see what it was going to be so 65 was going to be the interface here so that's what I'm going to use here Okay, so sixty five with a subnet mask of two two four, and I'm going to set the clock rate here to um, fifty six thousand fifty six thousand uh, kilobits and um, or fifty six kilobits uh, fifty six thousand bits per second and then the port status turn it on and now um, my serial interface for the first router is set to 65 which is the first usable in the 64 network 224 subnet mask on with a clock rate set at 56,000 so that's good okay and let's take a look at um, and we'll see here that now we have green lights because uh, we turned on the Ethernet interface on this router so we've got green lights between the switch and the router. Now we got to configure this other router and we'll start with the serial interface here and then do the Ethernet. So with this router, click here and configure and the first serial interface is serial 2 slash 0 and I will um, configure it right now. Let's see here 192.168.1.66 no clock rate I need subnet mask to be 224 and I need to turn the interface on all right that's good and now the fast Ethernet interface on the other side I'm going to turn the fast Ethernet will be 192.168.1. the 96 network the first usable would be 97 there's the subnet mask 255.255.224 and turn the port on. So now that interface is up. Okay, so the router knows we have green lights now on our serial connection. 
they can talk to each other because we've got a clock rate, clock rate set on the DCE. We don't have a clock rate on the DTE serial interfaces. And we've got our Ethernet interface set up. And now all we have to do is configure the PC. So the PC, we'll do configure and interface fast Ethernet. And we can set it all from right here. 192.168.1.0. Ninety-eight would be the second usable host in the network. In the ninety-six network, the first is ninety-seven. Second usable is ninety-eight. And then we need a two-two-four here at the end, and we need uh, to put a gateway here. IP address, port status on on the Ethernet. Now, where is our gateway? Well, we don't see it here. So let's go to settings. Static gateway. Here we go. Gateway. 192.168.1.97 that would be the gateway and fast ethernet set 98 and that should be good so now we have all of our um, all of our devices configured and we should be able to uh, start a round of pinging uh, to start co trying to communicate and do an echo request from the PC to the router and then see how far we can go um, before we cannot get a reply. And we'll talk about that in the next tutorial.